Today I want to show you how to uh, program a question in WebWorks uh, that has uh, randomized values. So I do have my question here above, uh, which I want to program. It had some fixed values and I want to program those uh, to be uh, changeable and therefore be different for each student. So first thing I do, uh, I go to WebWorks and I already created myself a new uh, homework set. And in that set, I'm gonna add a new uh, question and then here I'm gonna edit it. And now that uh, before I do anything, I'm gonna click on new version. I'm gonna give it a different name. So this will be my mass spring one. And I'm going to append it to the test bank uh, so that I have it as a second uh, problem in my test bank. Okay, now uh, this is what uh, I get as a template actually from uh, WebWork itself. Uh, but uh, I have my own template, so I'm going to erase this. And I'm going to be editing this uh, for myself. So in my case, this is a uh, question uh, on a single motion. Okay, so uh, now here, the first section is loading some macros. Uh, I'm not gonna uh, even touch that. Uh, and then here I, say if we show partially correct answers, in this case it's going to be for a test, so I decide to no. Here will be the uh, random uh, variables. The way here, by the way, how I did it with two uh, different randomized uh, things is in order to control the number of significant figures. And uh, here is uh, where I put the question. And actually I also have a question context, I should add this here at the beginning. So here is where I'm simply going to copy paste from uh, my question over here. Okay, now question. Here I'm going to have question one, uh, which uh, is the first I'm going to program. Uh, calculate. Uh, the amplitude, actually, instead of calculate, let's define, and the amplitude of the system. And then the answer unit will be in meters. Now I'm going to do the randomization. Okay, so uh, here we had a spring constant of uh, 20 uh, newtons. So in K, instead, I'm just going to write here uh, K. Let's call this K. So now at this point, it's going to insert uh, me the spring constant k, which now I put in my randomized value. Since here, here was one with ohms, so here I'm going to now update this to uh, randomized values. So k, I want it to be, wait, let's put it with. Let's put this with. The three significant figures. So uh, something factor of 10, maybe not that high. Uh, let's go. Seven. Okay. So here I'm not going to use the current anymore. Again, I want to serve it. And then I have uh, my uh, position. Let me show position. Okay. Now, here I could do a random value for my initial position as well. However, this is where you have to pay attention when you do these randomized numbers because we don't want any, or there are initial positions uh, that will uh, not be possible uh, for uh, the total energy of the system. So actually, I probably should calculate the solution first, which is the amplitude, and then give a certain percentage of uh, that amplitude 
as uh, the initial position. So uh, let's calculate the answer first. So the amplitude uh, is uh, the square root of uh, the energy over the spring constant. And now my initial position, I can calculate it as a fraction of the amplitude. So uh, let's do uh, amplitude times and then a random value from 1 to, let's say from 10 to 90 uh, over 100 would give me the amplitude uh, in meters, uh, as a, would give me the position as meters as a fraction of amplitude. Here I had centimeters, so I don't need the 100. Okay, and now uh, my solution was the amplitude. So all I have to do here is answer, I put in here uh, amplitude. And now I think we are ready uh, for uh, part A. Uh, I can also select the tolerance for my answers. So where did I put this one? And tolerance. Actually, I should set my tolerance, otherwise it will not work. Oh, here I did it. So here I say 20% tolerance. Let's go a bit lower. Let's go with 10%. And uh, let's make here another paragraph. And now let's see how this works. So I go on update, which will save it, and then it put me in a new window. If there's any coding issues, uh, it will spit out errors. Uh, if it works, uh, let's hope it works. So let's see. Yeah, so here's my question. So a block is attached to a spring with, uh -huh, um, and it goes on, uh -huh. it's total, so I made a typo. Inch is one joule, that seems all fine. The block is at, uh, okay, so here, because I randomized it, I got too many, many significant figures. Uh, so I'm going to change this. So uh, errors. Uh, it's total energy, and then here let's make question A out of this because I'm going to add a B later on. Uh, the amplitude, uh, so I wanted to round this one here. Uh, round. Let's just round this to full centimeters. Let's see what we get now. Okay, so that's nice there. Uh, spring constant K. Okay. So the first part of my problem uh, seems to work right now. If I want to add a second question, uh, all I do is I uh, duplicate my question uh, set up here. Here I'm going to do the uh, second question. So for the moment, I just leave uh, amplitude and everything as it was as the answer. So here this is question two, answer two, unit answer two, uh, amplitude. And then down here in the screen output, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to duplicate this. Uh, so question two, so two unit. And then what I have to do here for the grading, I also have to duplicate this one. And here I say, uh, take answer two. So let's see how this looks like. Okay, so right now it should be actually uh, tw twice the same thing. Uh, Yay, and it worked. Or oh, if I put this one wrong, I would tell me which one is correct, which one is wrong. Okay, that's how you uh, program a, random, a question with randomized numbers. So right now my spring constant, uh, my total energy, uh, and the initial position, which is completely irrelevant for the, that first problem here, uh, are randomized.